Uh, inconsistent, obviously. Uh, game shows for itself, you know. Um, you know, in order to be a good offense, you have to be a consistent offense, be disciplined, and you know, with the with the small details that it takes to uh, um, you know finish off drives, and obviously, uh, again, not not near good enough on third downs. Um, in those situations, you have to be able to move the chains and put yourself in this you know position to. Have success, and uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, again do that tonight, and um, you know, put our ba our defense in some bad situations, which is uh, unfortunate, and we got to be much better. Seth, how well did you feel Jackson played tonight overall? You know, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on the film tonight and tomorrow. It's gonna be a long night, uh, which is great. Um, you know, I thought, you know, throughout the game, I thought there were some good things, um, but I thought there were some, uh, along with everybody else, I thought there were some inconsistent things, um, you know, especially in, you know, when we have situational football, you just got to trust your job, trust the way we practice throughout the week, and uh, you can't press, um, and you got to, uh, and I think it's all of us, we, we have to make the plays that are out there to be made, and we're not consistently doing that, which is frustrating. And uh, listen, it always starts with me. I'm never going to throw our guys under the bus because, uh, you know, I'm the one um, week in and week out. It's my job to put them in the right situations to be successful. Uh, and so uh, I'll take that. Um, but at the same time, uh, when there's plays to be had, you, you got to be able to make them, uh, especially against a, a team that's hungry. and. Uh, the longer you let them stick around, uh, the hungrier they get, uh, the more confidence they get. And uh, as you know, you're, you're in part of, you, now you're in a dogfight. And so now you're having to play four minute offense in order to, to help your team win. And so, again, uh, you know, uh, successful offenses are consistent and disciplined in their jobs. And uh, we, we weren't able to do that tonight. It looked like this is a step back for you from last week. Is that alarming that with this much room for improvement, you really didn't make it tonight? Yeah, you know, you, you, you're hoping week one to week two there's a huge improvement. Um, and listen, I'm never going to make excuses or allow anybody to make them for us. Um, we, we just weren't consistent enough tonight, and we got to do a much better job. And, uh, all the way around, and again, that starts with me. And uh, I promise you this: I'll, I'll work hard to to correct it. But at the same time, it takes everybody. Everybody has to man up and look themselves in the mirror, coach, players alike. And uh, you know, we all have a job to do, and uh, our job is to hold each other accountable to to a high standard. And uh, right now, we we, uh, we got to be much better. But you know, I predict that you know I'll see some uh, you know a lot of things will frustrate me tonight on tape, uh, and and probably with myself. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of positives on there. It's not going to be big tweaks. It's going to be little things. Uh, it's going to be a lot of little things. Uh, you know that. Um, you know, stack on top of each other. And the more you stack them, the harder it is to come out of it. Um, the, the, the more it is, the harder it is to, to get that momentum back. And I suspect I'll see a lot of that too. Um, but until, uh, you know, I can, I can watch it again, we'll, we'll see. But uh, there were some positives, but there wasn't near enough. What gets all changed to have more success on third downs? Uh, consistency, just trusting, again, your job. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities on third down I felt like we had that we didn't capitalize on. Um, but again, uh, you know, I think we were 4-15, uh, which is not not good at all. Not, not, not well good enough to, for our standards. And again, I got I to gotta man up and look myself in the mirror first. Uh, you know, we'll figure out if, if they were good or bad calls when when it's all said and done. But we got to execute. At the end of the day, uh, we got to execute much better. Where's the biggest area that the one said, "Hey, we got to get this fixed first. The offense. Well, I don't know if there's one glaring area we have to get first. Well, I think yeah, there is. It's, it's third downs. So you got to be able to stay on the field, and move the chains um, in order to have success. Um, you can move the ball. You can get into rhythm. Um, but if you're not consistent enough uh, within a drive, uh, you know, to continue to move the chains, then it's going to be hard. And the other thing is, when you take your opportunities down the field, at times you're going to have to, you have to make those opportunities work, and you got to get off the field right there with touchdowns. And so, uh, you know, you're not going to always be consistent going uh, on 14, 15 play drives. You got to be explosive, and uh, I don't think we've been near explosive uh, as of to date. Um, and again, uh, it's 
I do believe we have a great group of men that work their ass off. That I do, um, but that's not good enough. We gotta, we gotta make sure that uh, one again we're uh, they're being coached the right way, and two, um, we gotta we gotta be more consistent. Surprising are you that the offense has struggled these first two weeks? I'm always, yeah. I'm uh, obviously I'm, I'm frustrated as are our men, uh, our guys in that locker room. I mean, it's 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 never good. To, you know, you have high standards, you have high expectations, and um, you know when that's not being met, there is frustrations. But I will say this: our guys will stick together. Um, our guys are, are tough, resilient, uh, hardworking dudes. Our staff, um, the same, and. Uh, at the end of the day, you just got to keep grinding, keep working, and and, and really um, try to figure out, you know, all all the uh, necessary things that you got to do to correct the mistakes that we're making right now. Seth, a lot of people are going to hit the panic button after a performance like this offensively. But how much confidence do you have that this, this is correct? These mistakes are correct. Listen, I understand. Listen, I'm from Oklahoma. I've, I've been born and raised here. I played here, and I, I get it. Um, you know, there are high standards here, and if there weren't, I wouldn't want to be here. Um, I have high standards of this university, of, of uh, this program. And so I, I know exactly what that looks like. And so um, whether they hit the panic button or don't hit the panic button, uh, I can't focus in on that. I can't worry about that. I'm never, listen, I, I've done uh, this a long time and um, I've been involved in this sport a long time. Uh, I got to focus in on doing my job better. I got to focus in on uh, what we have to do in order to be more consistent and a better football team. Um, so, teach their own. I mean, that's how I look at it. In a game like this, when Nick is playing ball control, kind of like what they did, it's a teaching moment for Jackson not go out there and think, I got to get everything back. I'm not getting the ball as many times in a game like this and not try to rush things and just play his game. Listen, I don't think any weeks, uh, I don't think one, one player uh, controls or dictates. Um, the outcome of a game. I, I just don't. I believe it's all of us together. And so, uh, you know, it's never one guy. It's never one play. It's a combination of a lot of things. And so, listen, Jackson knows. He, he as right now, he's the quarterback of this team. And so he's going to take a lot of criticism when we don't have success, just as I do. And we have, uh, we've had a number of conversations about that. That's part of the position uh, that we're all in. And so uh, he's a tough kid. Uh, I know, uh, you know, he has high standards. Uh, he's very meticulous. He works extremely hard. Uh, and there's no doubt in my mind that uh, he's very competitive and, and wants to do great things, uh, as we all do. And so uh, at the end of the day, it, it takes it takes 11 guys, uh, full staff, a uh, bunch of guys that to step up and make plays in situations. So. Again, it's on all of us. Let me rephrase that. I guess they wanted to play ball control and keep the ball out of your offense. I guess, in other words, it looked like they were trying to keep. The I don't know why the they were worried about our offense. We weren't consistent enough to hurt them. So, ball control. I don't. I don't know if they were trying to play ball control or. I, again, I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't see that, and I didn't watch the game yet. So I don't. I don't know. I didn't have the opportunity to watch it on TV. But I do know this. We get, again. It still goes back to we got to make the plays and we got to be consistent. And it's my job to put in. The situations to be more successful. Coach, you last one. You mentioned not enough positives tonight, but one of those positives was certainly Jake Roberts getting in the end zone. Obviously, he's got a long history. How much of an encouragement for you was it to see him get in the end zone and make a couple big plays? He made the plays he he needed to make, and which is that's what you want. The you know when you have those opportunities when you um, dial up those plays and those guys make them, the more trust you build, the more consistency that there is, the more trust, uh, not only with uh, you know your teammates, but your coaches. Uh, we got to do that all the way around. And I'm sure there's, there's plays out there Jake wishes he had back, as we all do. And so, again, I'm, I'm proud of Jake. I love Jake. I've been around Jake a long time. I know how uh, I know his work ethic. I know his demeanor. I know how tough he is. Uh, but at the same time, uh, as we all do, we all we all have to uh, continue to grow and get a day better. And again, uh, I'm excited to do that moving forward. Thanks, Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks,